Roblox is a very broken game and has one of the most interesting glitches and useful glitches to do. One of them being the frog jump. The frog jump is a glitch that allows you to fly in Roblox in any game as long as you have two people or more and both players have collision. We will be talking about how it works, the history of the glitch, and how it helps communities in Roblox. The basis of how it works is there's your computer right here and then there's the server and to send the inputs from your keyboard to the server take time. In order to do that, your computer would need to connect to the router, which would then need to send the information to the server, which usually takes about anywhere from 50 to 200 milliseconds or 0.05 to 0.2 seconds, which is pretty fast, but it's slow enough where it can be abused. So take this red square here as the as player one, this blue square as player two. You click player two, and they'll stand on top of player one. Ignore the background, by the way. When player one moves, player two will start moving around this point, which means until you hit a wall, it'll just do this. When the player reaches the wall, player two will have time to catch up. But around that time, player one will be able to jump, so player one will be there. Player two will still be registered as being on top, but would be there. When player two finally registers players, player one's jump, bring it down here, player one will be pushed up because player one jumped. And then, because on player one screen, he is on top of player two, he will be pushed up, and vice versa. Also, a ping, which is a connection from your device to the server, also makes it able for this glitch to be done. From the start of Roblox, Roblox has been a client server connected game which means that frog jump would have been around since the beginning of Roblox. But since Roblox had a cooldown on jumping from 2006 to 2012, this would mean that the frog jump wouldn't work. A lot of the early footage for Roblox frog jumping is in early 2017. The earliest footage I could find for it is when Poke did it in February 5 on Roblox Assassin. A couple days later he made another video on the glitch, but this time in Murder Mystery 2. This glitch is easy to do on accident, so it's definitely possible for this glitch to be done before 2017. Back then, for frog jumping, people would just keep on holding the space bar until they would get the frog jump, or they would use the drag method. It was not until December 20 of 2017 when they used the run-up method. Casual players will use this glitch to reach inaccessible areas that they would normally not be able to reach. But for speedrunning, on the other hand, this glitch helps a lot. If you don't know what speedrunning is, speedrunning is the act of playing a video game with the intent of completing it as fast as possible. Speedrun.com is a site that everyone uses to post their runs so if you're a speedrunner. It provides leaderboards, resources, forums, and more for speedrunning. On speedrun.com, Roblox is the most active, has the most players, and is second for having the most runs. On the Roblox series, there's a bunch of games to speedrun on, but only some of these games actually have a co-op category. And when there is a co-op category, these runs get done under a minute. The obby community does not use the frog jump that much because towers, tiers, and difficulty chart obbies all have no collision. It's nice that we can look at old footage of the frog jump and see how far it has come to being really consistent and very useful in both speedrunning and casual playing. And I can't wait to see what this glitch can do in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.